How would you characterize your relationship with Dana these days? Oh, it's very good these days. You know, I got a lot of love for Dana. So, you know, we think a lot alike. And, and just like we think that Tyrone Woodley's an idiot and he should just keep his mouth shut because every time he opens his mouth, he shoots himself in the foot. You know, me and Dana agree on a lot of things, and, and, and we're both uh, Trump fans. So, MAGA t- Trump 2020, baby. I'm ready and prepared right now, so the fans can expect some as soon as possible. You know, I'm ready to go right now, but I'm only waiting on Tyrone. I'm not fighting anybody else, so whenever he's ready... And he heals his little boo-boo. He's talking about a thumb injury. He needs to take an Advil, that little bitch. So I'm ready to go whenever. I will gladly fight Joanna because she's a really professional fighter. And she uh, has, like, uh, all kinds um, that a uh, fighter has to have. And it will be very nice fight, very excited fight, very expected fight for every uh, people, every person, and every fan of martial arts. The reason it went wrong is Nico Montagna's fault. It's not like he was sick. When anybody's cutting weight and they have to cut the weight cut short because, oh, my body's going to break down. Uh, I'm going to die. It's because you fucked up. It's because you messed up the entire weight cut process. It's because you wasn't professional in training camp. You didn't make adjustments. I mean, as you're preparing for a fight camp, you look at your weight. You get out of bed every single day and you check your weight. That's the first thing you do. And you look at that weight. That's your true weight when you get out of bed every morning. Okay, and then you think, oh shit, this is going on track or this is not on track. I need to make some changes. And halfway through the training camp, if you're looking at your weight and that weight weighing scale isn't saying what it should do, then you need to make some changes, whether it's more running, more treadmill, more whatever, stricter diet, fewer carbs. You make changes. And then if you get to 24 hours before and you're trying to cut weight, and you've got too much weight to cut and you can't physically do it and doctors are saying you've got to stop or you're going to die. Well, then you fucked up. You fucked up in your preparations and I've got limited sympathy. Yeah, I feel sorry for you. Yeah, I'm sorry you got stripped. Yeah, I'm sorry that, you know, you didn't get your payday and I'm sure she needed that money. But the reality, if if you, if you want to take the uh, the empathy out of it, the reality is that you fucked up along the way. It's mintmobile.com slash believe. That is mintmobile.com slash believe. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month and get free shipping on your Mint Mobile SIM card at mintmobile.com slash believe. I think it becomes a money thing on the UFC side. Wouldn't I would say like, wouldn't the UFC love to have a guy that they use as the poster boy he's in every commercial, every UFC store commercial? He's you know, uh, you know, headlining on on TV shows. You know, in the in the main event or the co-main event, the last one, and and did a big draw on TV. I mean, for me, that sounds like a great investment. He's 21 years old. He can fight for another. You know, if he did like I did, he could fight for another. Uh, you know, 15 years, and and continue to make them money. So I think they'll 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 make him a great offer, and he'll be with the UFC. And I hope that's the case. Um, he's he would love to be in the UFC and become a UFC champion. And I think that the UFC will come up and 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 show them that they want him also. Um, but but we're yet to see that. So. I don't know why Dana White was not at the post-fight press conference, and I, I, I hesitate to speculate. Um, but here's why my point was. If, if he wasn't there uh, because he had some kind of other situation he had to attend to, well, that's a shame, but I could understand. If not, it's just shameful to me. Because you get these big wins like this, and that's the right moment for the head of any organization to come out and pat a guy on the back and tell the world, set the narrative for this. What do you make of Dana White not being there? You know... Being on the show with Dana, I know how hard he works. I know his schedule, and I know he keeps everything really tight. So I will never speculate that he didn't show up because he disliked Tyron or didn't want Tyron to win. In fact, when he came into the cage, he kind of gave me a nod and was like, good job. Um, I mean, of course, everybody's going to speculate that he didn't like it. But I know, like I said, Dana keeps a very tight schedule. I know that he was leaving. I was talking to a security guy afterwards saying, man, we got a flight to catch. 
And, you know, sometimes Dana's just like his schedule keep, is tired all the time. So, like, you know, I don't want to use that as the excuse, but I just know he keeps a tight schedule. So, like, that's the only reason why I could say he did, he wouldn't be at the press conference. I would like to see him come out with a statement now and congratulate Tyron. That would be good, you know, because it's easy it's easy to criticize fighters. But, you know, when, when they show and prove, when they show up and give you what you ask, it's, you know, I think you it's only right to give them their props. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, Kawan? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! Stay calm! Stay calm! Stay calm! That's alright! Hey, hey, hey! Get Connor! Connor, don't throw those fucking hands! Connor! Connor! Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Go damn well who I am! Who the fuck is that? I'm I just don't give a fuck! You fucking noob! Now who needs to deal with Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Let's go! Why not? I'm here, you know? And ready to go!